day 12 of the bounce challenge. So we hit the indoor run, step up, and we're gonna get ready. Um, we're just going to turn a little bit this way. You're gonna look towards your left a little bit. And we're going to start bouncing like this. Then we're gonna start kind of how we ended on the last one. So I want you to take that right foot back like that. So we're gonna bounce facing this way. We did this in one of the videos of turning. Keep that bounce. Remember your knees are bent and your good posture. Shoulders back, chest out. Core in. I still do that tuck. And all we're gonna do here is start turning. Have your left foot forward. Now I'm gonna go back and forth a little bit. Back and forth. Okay, keep that left foot forward. Come around. Go back and forth. I want you to get used to looking in different directions also. Having your body just acclimated right to the sponsor. Couple more, back and forth. We're gonna go a little bit forward and back. Now we're gonna come around again. I'm coming toward the back and then the front. Left foot forward. It works your muscles different by having just your foot position just a little different. One more, toward the front, toward the back. Now, we're going to turn again. Now, you're gonna have the opposite foot forward, right here. That would be your right, actually my left. Now, I'm gonna go over to the front, come back, over, Come back. Over here. Now we're toward the back. Start coming around. We're gonna do something with this. I'm more toward the front. I'm coming toward the back. Toward the front. Back and forth. Use all the space on your rebounder. Okay, we're gonna do one more on each side. I come around. I'm toward the front right now. Now I'm gonna go toward the back. Front. Toward the back. Toward the front. Toward the back. Now start moving around. Knees are back, but I want you to know I'm in the front. I want you to see good posture, chest out, shoulders back. No slouching. We're almost done with this part. We go forward and back. Now, we're a little bit toward the back, so let's come to the center. We're gonna come around. Now, you're gonna have that back leg forward, and it's going to be your left leg forward, right leg back a little bit. Now, we're gonna practice, we've done it, I think before, of bouncing for three and bring in that foot back. That'll be your right foot back. So I count down from five, we're doing the slide view so you can actually see what I'm gonna do. I start at five, when I hit one, 
I bring it back to spirit animal. Five, four, three, two, one. On the third bounce, bring it back. Now, with this being day 12, I think we can challenge you a little bit more with this. We'll see. I'll do five more. See, I'm not coming back far. Two more. Now, keep the feet apart. I'm gonna do one, two, three, and then I'm gonna bring it up, come to the front, two, three, here, down, two, three, here. So I'm gonna come back here. You just keep bouncing. So I'm gonna count down from three. And when I hit that one, I'm gonna lift that foot up and start coming to the front. And when I get to that third bounce, that's how we're gonna do it. If you have a hard time with it, just stay forward. And you don't have to bring your foot up. You can actually tap it back if you'd like. We're gonna start in about 10 seconds. Okay, three, two, one. On the third bounce, you should be in the front, back to the side. Learn how to turn on your bouncer. How do you like that? You look at different parts of the room. Do a couple more. Actually come back to the front. The original side. Back here, once we get back, over here. That's going to be it. Okay? Now, um, we're going to just come around again. You have your left foot forward, right back. Now I'm just going to switch it. Now we're facing this way. Alright, moving up. So back and forth a little bit. I like to have my feet a little wider. That's why I say I like the wider bouncer for these type of moves. Couple more. Okay, now we're gonna count here. Three, two, one, one up. Um, let's just stay right here and do it first. I think that's how I get it. Three, two, one. Very minimal. It's like very, very subtle. Now, the further your legs are apart, the more you're gonna work your muscles. Ah, we're almost halfway. This go by so fast. Maybe three more like this. Okay, now let's just stay here. We're gonna count down, three, two, one, here, come to the front, same thing. Take a breath in, blow out, one more time, blow out, here we go, three, two, one. We just hit a mile. <clears throat> now, bringing this foot back, it's hard for a lot of people. So, if you struggle with it, you can even bring a knee up. That's the hardest move for most of the people I have worked with. The majority of them struggle with it. It's just a brain issue, um, coordination.
Come on, if you want to do an extra one. Okay. Now, I'm going to come around. Try, we're almost there. different to do. Now, when we ended the last video, we were kind of doing a little bit of the heel clicks and out. So, we're going to work on that a little bit. And we're going to alternate. I'm actually going to cook my heels on the fourth box. So if you count from one on the four, make sure you have three bounces in between um, because you're going to clip, bounce it on the fourth one, bring it out. Let's go in the corners a little bit. Move the arms. in between and the fourth one you're going to clip. <clears throat> four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four. Now, 
You're just gonna tap that right foot around and roll the other side. Just tap it. See how I'm gonna send the bottom of the foot. This leg's just down and out. Now, I'm gonna bring that left foot forward. I'm gonna do three, two, one. Get a little crunch going. We got 1.75 miles already. So, I'm gonna do five more like this. One. Now, you're gonna tap that, keep that left foot tap forward, bring it around. Okay, now, actually, let's come back around towards your right wall. We're gonna start by picking up that back knee. We're on the count of three, and we're gonna bring it around to the front, to the side, just like we did with the foot back. So I'm gonna do three, two, one, lift it up, and then come here and lift it up. Ready, set, three, Two, one. Get a little crunch in there. Enjoy the endorphins and um, dopamine, all the adrenaline, but I don't think they sit and smile. <laughs> I smile when I bounce, so. There's a match absorbing the shock. I'm gonna go around to the front, back to the right side, over. And now we're to the back. Okay. So we practice foot back, knee forward. We also practiced, I don't know what I did right in the beginning, but we did practice clicks and little air jock. So I think we covered an awful lot. And um, let's come back and forth. So, I'm gonna get a little, kind of a side view here, a little bit. And um, we're going to tap, bounce to, bring your toes up. Two in between. This is starting to be our cool now. You can see how that works different muscles. In a good way. It's a good thing. Get 
got a couple more seconds. And we actually got two and a quarter miles in. And at 20 minutes. So pretty good. Now bring them out, bring them in, out, keep them out. As you keep them out, just keep them out a little bit. I want to do a little bit more, but I'm not going to because this is it. Day 12. Um, so we're plugging away. But if you stick with these videos, you can build them up to the outer balancing and it'll be good. Um, to get that challenge in and to feel better about your balancing and picking your feet up. Even like right now, I'm not picking up much and I just actually alternate a little bit my feet and you can barely see it. That's a good way to start to um, bounce a little bit higher than um, the healthy bounce. So that's it. I stepped down. I got 2.4 miles and in 21 and a half minutes. So I think that's a great way get steps in, miles in, get your cardiovascular endurance going, and to learn a little bit more about bouncing. So have a great day.